Hello, Audio Base Chris here. This is another Mister video. I'd like to show you how to set up a basic PC system on your Mister using the A0486 core. But instead of using DOS 6.22, I thought I'd show you how to do it using FreeDOS. The benefits of FreeDOS are that it's a completely self-contained system, so it includes things like mouse drivers, memory management, and CD drivers out of the box, so you don't have to do an awful lot of configuration. Compatibility isn't quite as good as with some of the other packs out there, but it is a good starting point if you want to roll your own system. If you don't want to roll your own system, I would suggest checking out Flynn's bit Amazing Work on the Exodus Top 300 pack, um, which is a self-contained image you download to the Mister, and it has all the games built in. But I digress. So we're going to talk about FreeDOS in this one. So first of all, you're going to need yourself a, a virtual hard drive image for your AO486. And to do that, you can make one in Windows. Dead simple. Open up your disk management utility, such as this one. And then file. Sorry, action. Create VHD. It'll ask where you want to put it and how big it is. I'm going to just make a very small 500 megabyte one for the uh, just for the uh, for this particular video and just find somewhere to stick it. So we could call it free DOS and we'll save it to my desktop. Okay. And there we are. I'm not going to initialize it or anything. I'm literally just going to copy it across to the mister. So you need to copy this image across to your games directory AO486, the usual way. Uh, I'm using WinSCP for this one. So I just need to find the VHD and drop it straight in. Oh, there we go. They didn't want to connect, so we'll try that again. Here we go. It's always the case when you're doing a live video, everything decides to go wrong. So while that's copying across, we need to now download the free DOS image, which you get from freedos.org. Dead simple. Download FreeDOS 1.2. You want the standard CD ROM which is this one, the ISO. I've already copied this across to my mister. It's in my CD folder here. So it's the same process as this. Literally just drag it into your mister, however you want to do it. If you want to take the SD card out of the mister and copy everything across manually, you can do that. Or do it the way I am, which is using WinSCP. This means I can have the mister set up all the time and not worry about having to pull out SD cards. That's very nearly done. Okay, so we now have the virtual hard drive over on the mister. So let's uh, pull me up there. Ah, that's pretty frightening. And we'll go across to the mister now. So if we fire up the uh, AO486 core, it says no bootable devices, that's expected behavior. And we select the FreeDOS VHD as our hard drive image, and then go into your CD directory and select the FreeDOS, this is FreeDOS 12 CD. And for icing on a cake, you want to change the boot order to CD-ROM. Reset and apply HDD. And there we are. So FreeDOS is now booted up. It's saying install the hard disk. Say yes. Well, I'll hit return on it. It'll go through this process here. You will have to reboot a few times because it needs to format the drive for you, but it will do it automatically. Proceed with the installation. Drive C does not appear to be partitioned. Do you want to partition your drive? Yes, we do. Yes, reboot. And now we want to install from hard disk yet again because the drives are now partitioned correctly. Preferred language is English. Yes, continue with the installation. Yes, erase and format drive C. Press a key. So 
So you have the option here, you can either do a 10 megabyte minimal install. Uh, I'm in the UK, so I'm selecting UK English for my keyboard. Or you can do an 81 megabyte full install. Depending on how big your virtual hard drives thing is, you might want to pick whatever, but I'm going to go with full installation. And please install FreeDOS. And now we wait. Okay, and so installation has completed. Okay, before we reboot, there's a few things we need to do. You need to bring up your Mr. Menu. You need to change your hardware boot to hard drive first or floppy hard disk. And you can eject the CD image by pressing backspace while you're in there. And then if you want to keep the setting, hit save settings. And then you hit reboot now. And here we are, FreeDOS has booted up. You get this menu so you can pick what you want to do with it. And we have a mouse driver, memory sorted out, and we have CD-ROM as well. So let's just test that out. Let's bring up the Mr. Menu, insert a CD, uh, Frontier first encounter is always a good one. Doesn't run particularly well on the Mr, but uh, it does look quite nice. So the drive, as you can see, is D, tells you there. That's the CD drive. Install has auto completed everything. FreeDOS is quite nice. Another nifty thing is if you have MT32, then it's already and prepared to just work out of the box. It's quite nice. I'll save that save as well. So let's do setup in first encounters directory and we'll sort out our audio. Oop. Okay. Received with auto detection test. The sound card is now working. Yeah. Select MIDI. Uh, it doesn't support MT32 properly, Frontier, so... We'll just use Sound Canvas. <laughs> okay, so let's give it a try. Whoopsie. So as you can see, that's running quite slow. I'm going to reset this. And if I load it up with out any drivers and try that again. So even without drivers, you still have your mouse and your CD drive. So CD, first encounters. Try that again. Yeah. 
Yeah, first encounters doesn't run particularly well, but like you can agree it ran better the second time round. So let's uh, reset that and we'll try something else. Let's uh, load in. Oh, I don't know. How about Day of the Tentacle? Don't need to reset when you add a CD because it's dynamic CD mounting. So with this, just go to the CD drive and type Day of the Tentacle or DOTT. Let's set this up. Music. Now this does support MT32. So Roland port. There we go. Uh, Sound Blaster for the digital detect. Detect. And that looks all right. Those things, yes. Let's try this out. Ah, EMS takes less than two megabytes. We can fix that. Let's reset again. This time, select option two for EDOS, which gives you extended memory. Should be a case of changing to D drive and type DOTT again. Digital audio. Oh, we've got a crash. So, yeah, FreeDOS is very compatible, but okay, we'll spread out commando style. Sometimes Laverne, you have to change. You go secure the area behind those. You'll have to change your configuration occasionally to see what works best. But there, the technical runs quite well. Most of the stuff I've tried to run has worked quite well. But the stuff I like to do... Yeah, so the dig doesn't use uh, MIDI at all, it uses uh, audio samples. So yeah, that, just a, a quick one. Your mileage might vary. This is a good starting block if you want to try DOS without wanting to get too bogged down into the memory management side of it or loading drivers. Try it out, see how you get on. Uh, I don't know what the compatibility is like. I know Descent does not work, full stop. Uh, I haven't tried a lot of stuff, but I'm going to be doing a bit more testing as we go on. But by all means, get hold of free DOS, stick it on your mister, have a play with it, or you could run it in um, a virtual machine. Just have a bit of a play. It's a good laugh. Anyway, I've been on your base, Chris. Thanks very much, and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Bye-bye.